السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. This is the third video in the series of forming the screen in sheet. In the previous two videos, we managed to import results of various databases into EndNote. In this video, we will export these results into Excel. But before exporting, there are important steps that we should do, such as forming a style, which represents how the Excel file should contain, as well as removing duplicates and some tips that should be done just before exporting. Let's start. Hello again. We'll start by forming the style that will represent the final form of the Excel sheet. Click Edit, Output Style, New Style. Click Bibliography, Templates, then choose the journal article from reference style. In the generic space, we'll choose the column that we want our sheet to contain. Usually we choose title, authors, year, DOI, URL, and abstract. Don't forget to click tab between each field. Then rename it by a name you can remember, for example, screening. Then save it. Click here and choose another style. Write the name of the style you have just made and choose it. After forming the output style, we'll remove duplications. Firstly, we should define what the program should use as a comparison. Click Edit, Preferences, Duplicates, and click Title, Authors, and Year. These are the most important. Before finding duplicates, you have to click on All References. Then click References and Find Duplicates. This window is to compare between duplicates and if you want to choose one of them. But we simply remove them to trash. Just to check we didn't miss any duplicates. Some people recommend doing additional step by and checking authors and find the duplicates again. Here's an important tip to help Excel in reading your file clearly. Click Edit, find and replace, then choose any field and choose this. Write semicolon and space and change. Ctrl A, export, and you have to choose the output style you have just made. Rename it and save as a text file. Open the Excel and all the file you have just saved. Insert a row and name each column. And finally, our screen sheet is ready. I hope these videos were useful. Good luck and thanks for watching.